Good afternoon from the floor of the CME. This is Chris Robinson with your Traders Exclusive comment for today, Friday, the 26th. Uh, as I speak to you, the government uh, shutdown is finally over. That's going to be pretty important for the soybeans, corn, and wheat looking out next week. We've been waiting for uh, USDA information uh, for about two, three weeks now. So hopefully we can get back to trading data instead of people's opinions. If you look at where the, the corn, wheat, and beans are, and that's all I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to keep it short. Soybeans are at the top of a $1 trading range. They look like they want to break out to the upside. We've got more stories of it being too dry in Brazil. Too dry in Brazil lowers the yields, less crop, higher prices. So we're right there at a critical juncture. So I would say if you're looking for the market which has the most possibilities for a move, focus in on soybeans. Switching over real quick to corn and wheat. Corn has been in a seven month, 25 cent trading range, 20 cent trading range. Um, I think that's gonna be a follower of soybeans rather than a leader. Um, so again, if you're a corn producer or corn trader, wait for the breakout. We will break out eventually, but it's been a very kind of a mind numbing seven months if you're a corn trader or corn producer. And then finally the wheat. Wheat's been about a 50 cent trading range. We had a couple head fakes recently. We had some stories that, that possibly China would be buying our wheat. We also uh, have now a, a situation where wheat in the United States is more and more competitive with the rest of the world. The third bullish story, uh, there are more, more ideas out there that China may, excuse me, that Russia may be looking to cut back exports. Russia, they did make uh, a change in their inner market inside their country. They raised freight levels. They're trying to get farmers to hold on to their um, existing wheat and not move it. So that's a bull story there. But again, the nice thing is if the USDA gets back online and they give us the uh, information we've been waiting for, we can finally get back to trading data as opposed to someone's opinion or thought bubble. So keep your fingers crossed that we break out of this range. Again, I'd focus in on soybeans um, if you're looking for the market which has the biggest chance to possibly move. This is Chris Robinson. If you're looking for help with your trading or hedging, look me up online.